So this is going to be a twofer. So apologies, I didn't get to the fifth on the fifth. I got to start working, working, and got consumed. And being that I'm driving, can't always stop. Uh, so it is 2:44 in the morning, and we're gonna do the fifth, and we're gonna do the six because it is the six. My son, be attentive to my wisdom. Incline your ear to understanding. Then you may keep discretion, and your lips may guard knowledge. For the lips of a forbidden, forbidden woman drip honey, and her speech is smoother than oil. But in the end she is as bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. Her feet go down to death, her steps follow the path to Sheol. She does not ponder the path of life. Her ways wander, and she does not know it. And now, O sons, listen to me, and do not depart from the words of my mouth. Keep your way far from her, and do not go near the door of her house, lest you give honor to others and your years to the merciless. Lest strangers take their fill of your strength, and your labors go to the house of a foreigner. At the end of your life you will groan when your flesh and your body are consumed, and you say, How I hated discipline, and my heart despised reproof. I did not listen to the voice of my teachers, or incline my ear to my instructors. I am at the brink of utter ruin in, your, in the assembled congregation. Drink water from your own cistern, flowing water from your own well. Should your springs be scattered abroad, streams of water in the streets, let them be for yourself alone and not for strangers with you. Let your fountain be blessed and rejoice in the wife of your youth, a lovely deer, a graceful doe. Let her breast fill you at all times with delight. Be intoxicated always in her love. Why would you be intoxicated, my son, with a forbidden woman and embrace the bosom of an adulteress? For a man's ways are before the eyes of the Lord, and he ponders all his paths. The iniquities of the wicked ensnare him, and he is held fast in the cords of his sin. He dies for lack of discipline, and because of his great folly he is led astray. There's a lot as well in Proverbs about the adulterous woman. And I think it's because it's written from the perspective of a father to a to a boy so I don't think that's unfair to say but I think it is worth knowing noting that the responsibility is shared here I mean there's the, the the woman that he's being warned against but the choice is still on the man and um, it's interesting because you've got somebody that was a king and very powerful and he's still telling them, you know, hey, stick to your, your wife of your youth. So, interesting. I don't think anybody can argue with this. Sorry, I had a car passing me, checking me out, wondering who I'm talking to. Anyway, this was Proverbs 5, NIV translation but going to be uploaded as it was recorded on January 6th, not January 5th. Have a great day. Be blessed.